What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm trying to get old film look in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, then be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Twitter, ask me on Skype, ask me on Snapchat, ask me wherever you would like to, and I'll make your video as soon as I can. I first of all want to say I'm sorry if I am quiet, I'm recording this at 2.40am, so yeah, might be a little bit quiet, but anyway, let's get into it. I've got a clip here from GTA, and it is on Next Gen, so it's from Xbox One. Now what you want to do is come here where this is. Now where this is is right here so you go to your video effects tab and look for film effects. Now if this box is not here then go to view, go to windows layout and click default layout. And now as you can see if we drag this across we have video effects and this is where it will be. So scroll down to film effects. Go ahead and click reset to none and drag it onto the clip. Now I'm just going to remove this so we've got a bit more working space here and let's get into it. So we just drag that on, you can see there is not much of a difference yet so we'll go ahead and fix that. So drag that to the side and here we go. So I would recommend at the grain from 6, 600, uh, well, 0 0.650 and above. So not too low. You can see the lower you go it's not going to look as old. So yeah that'll do for me and you want to keep the tint the same for now you want to click where it says color to this and what you want to do is change this right here the bottom one and drag it to the right so we get a gray color and let's say you move the color around because look if you move the color around you have to find where gray is again what you do is just go ahead and click here click right there and you can okay not that click this and you'll find where gray is which is right here you can see we've got a gray back and now from here, choose the tint up a little bit, click convert to grayscale, and you can see now we've got a bit of an older look. Now you can enable the particles, it's totally up to you. Choose the amount, I recommend about 5 maximum, maximum of 5. The flicker we can put up to 7, you can see here. And we can also add, I wouldn't add the hair, I wouldn't add the, actually we can add the jitter too. So maybe a little bit of it, so it's a bit, you can see, if we have the jitter it makes it a little bit more flashy. So make sure it's not too high, otherwise it's not going to be easy on the eye. And finally go ahead and add some scratches. Now I'll recommend about five for this as well. And then we go ahead and play this. And you can see, it now looks more old fashioned. Now if you find it's not the best for you, you can see from here, I, I think my grain is too high. Well, actually not the grain, I think the tint is too high. So if we go ahead and play it back now. Yeah, that looks better to me. It looks more easy to see. It looks more old-fashioned. And again, this is GTA 5 on Next Gen. And there you go. That is how you get old-fashioned or old film looks in Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it and I really hope it has helped you. And as I said earlier, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Skype, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Snapchat, ask me anywhere. And I'll make the video as soon as I can. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and on my Facebook page. I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily. Check out my FIFA channel where I post daily. And finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, yeah, been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.